<laughs> you may take your seat. A blessed evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to our uh, third session of our uh, mid-year prayer and fasting. May energy pa ba? Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God, ano? And I am Jesse Tikiya, and I am married to uh, Romina Tikiya, and God bless us with three wonderful, wonderful daughters, Patricia, Erica, and uh, Sophia, no? I served the Lord here in CCF Eastwood as part of uh, Across Ministry with, with Brother Clude, no? It's a privilege to serve the Lord in this ministry. And I thank Pastor Iko, you know, it's a privilege to also to share the Word of God. And I hope this is the beginning and the end of my assignment. <laughs> Our theme for this uh, mid-year uh, prayer and fasting is fast, pray, and love, you know? We, we know that CCF, we know the CCF core value, you no? Know? L-O-V-E, and uh, L stands for love God, love others, and O stands for obey God's word and authorities, and B stands for Valentine's, <laughs> ano, vo- volunteer, no? Kasi love, eh, no? Volunteer, no? Sabi nga ni Kuya Chito kanina, no? Volunteer to serve, no? And uh, of course, a volunteer means to express our willingness to undertake a task or service, no? And last is letter E is engaged, no? And tonight, our, our prayer focus is to pray for our personal being, our personal uh, growth, no? to, to how to pray and to serve God and others as well. So how is your uh, prayer and fasting so far? No? Kanina nag-uusap kami ni Brother Nudge, eh, no? Ayoko nang lumabas kasi pag nakita ko dito, fried chicken, tingin ko tal- tulisan nyo, chicken joy, eh, no? dito, beef ramen, no? Don pizza. Well, anyway, no. Uh, but I pray that tonight, no, we'll have a breakthrough going forward to serve the Lord and others as well. So why don't you join me, read and study our passage tonight? But before that, let's pray and commit our uh, gathering to the Lord. No, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come to you, and. Uh, uh, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful night that uh, we have the time to praise you and worship you, Father. And please, Lord, uh, prepare our hearts and uh, mind. May your Holy Spirit guide us, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. And we have a revival and transformation in our lives. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know, agad yung PowerPoint natin. Sorry. All right. Okay. Again, no, our uh, focus for tonight is uh, uh, volunteer, no, pray to serve, no. Okay. This is our passage in Hebrews thirteen fifteen to sixteen. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of lips that acknowledge His name. Verse 16, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Let me share to you the background or the context of this uh, passage, you know. Uh, we, we don't know the writer of uh, Hebrews, right? In fact, in all the books of the New Testament, ito lang Hebrew yata yung hindi na mention yung author. But the good thing is we know who the recipients are, Right? And the recipients are Hebrews, right? And when we say Hebrews, basically they are Jewish people. And we know Jewish people, they practice the law of Moses, no? different rituals, and they never recognize Jesus as Lord and Savior. Right? And for them, doing good is, way, is their way of salvation until someone came along and shared the gospel to them. Okay, for a number of years, they are Christian. But the problem is, unfortunately, no, from this letter, no, they are still immature. Para mga baby Christian pa rin. No, parang hindi sila natututo. They need someone to teach them again and again. Look at this verse, no. 
In Hebrews 5.12, you have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's word. You are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food. Yun ang problema, no? So tonight, uh, alam nyo, kailangan-kailangan sa ISO dito ang mga volunteer, ha? Kulang na kulang tayo sa mga workers, no? Kaya, if you are willing to volunteer in any of the life stages in, in uh, Eastwood, no? CCF Eastwood, this message is, is for you. But if you are not ready, this message is all, also for you to challenge you. Amen? So, para sa ating lahat, oh. So, the title of our message is uh, Pray to Serve. We have three points. Pray to honor God. Pray to do good to others. Pray to share what we have. Okay, point number one, pray to honor God. In verse 15, through Him, then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of, the fruit of lips that acknowledge His name. From this premise, not through Him, to Him. Of course, before we serve, kailangan muna ready heart natin, Right? Before we share our resources, kailangan ready hearts natin. So the first point is to honor God no, through Him. When we say to honor Him, from the premise through Him, no, how do we honor God's name? How do we doing His will? Are we equipped in serving Him? Is our heart right before God? Is Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior? The author said in Hebrews 13.21, sinabi niya dito, Equip you in every good thing to do His will, working in us that in which is pleasing in His sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. No? Alam niya sa D-group namin, ano? Uh, a week ago, merong uh, kaming uh, three couples, no? And, uh, Kaming mag-asawa, lagi naming tinatanong sa kanila, since they are already Christians, etong two diagnostic question. Two diagnostic question to make sure that they are, as- they are assured of their eternal life. So number one, do you know for sure that if you die today, you will go to heaven? And the second question is, if you die and face God and ask, ask you, why I should let you come into my heaven. They are Christians for 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 number of years. Pero ang sagot ay uh, hindi ako sure. So, before we serve, before we volunteer, kailangan tama yung heart natin sa Panginoon. And I praise God for these three couples. By God's grace, they 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 uh, accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. Yung bagong big group na kasama namin and they are assured now of their salvation. Amen? But you know, being a Christian is, uh, you have eternal life. Okay na ba yun? Tapos na ba yun? No, there are challenges. Kaya minsan hindi tayo nagpo-pursue. Yeah, you have, uh, uh, you honor God, no? Kaya lang problema, the reason why some do not continue, no? Kasi may mga struggles, may mga trials, no? There's a story, no? A young man, a Christian, went to an older believer no, to ask for prayer. Sabi niya, will you please pray that I continue to serve and honor God? So they knelt together and prayed. And the old Christian started to pray. Lord, sabi niya sa prayer niya, give this young man tribulations in the morning. Give this young man hurt in the afternoon. Give this man trials in the... Teka lang, sir. I am not asking for you to pray for trials and struggles and tribulation. What I'm asking for you is to pray for me to how I can continue and honestly serving the Lord. Ah. Parang si Pastor Peter. Ah. No. I wanted you... Uh, the reason why I am praying for you for tribulation, no? Because from here, no? You can honor God. Tatatag ka sa buhay pananampalataya mo. 
you will start to grow. It's through tribulations that we learn to honor and serve God. I like what, I like what uh, Rick Warren said. No? Your greatest ministry will most likely come out of your greatest hurt. Tama ba? So how do I honor God genuinely in my life? So, I like what the half-brother of Jesus Christ said in James 1.12. No? Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he is stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. You know, in Philippians 4.19 also, when we honor God, he honors us. And when we, honors God, when we honor God, we can easily do good things to people. We, when we say doing good to people, meaning okay tayo sa harap ng Panginoon, madali kang mag-serve. Kasi you are honoring God. And that leads us to our second point. No? Pray to do good. In Hebrews 13, 16, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. So, do not neglect to do good. What are the examples of doing good to others? Kasi itong mga Hebrews, Hebrew Christians na ito, no? kulang na kulang sila sa act of love. Tamad na tamad sila mag-volunteer or serving others. Lack of love, doing example to people. No? Look at this verse. Sabi ng writer sa kanila. Ang hirap pag walang author, no? Pastor X, no? writer na lang, no? Let love of the brothers and sisters continue. Do not neglect hospitality. You know, I love the welcoming team of CCF Eastwood, no? Minsan nasasama ako sa kanila. No? Pag dumating, na, wow, warm welcome, no? Nakatid sa upuan, no? And how can I pray for you? You want coffee? No? Ang galing nung leader dito sa welcoming team na ito. No? I don't want to mention his name anymore. Tago na lang natin siya sa pangalang Gary. You know, totoo yun. Ano? Nakaka-encourage when you see people serving. No? Pag nakikita mo sila being a good example, sasama ka na. They want to serve as well. No? What else? Do not neglect hospitality to strangers. For by this, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Pakitingin nga po yung mga katabi natin. Yan ang mga angels. Di ba? Do not neglect doing them. Now, I, 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 I was reminded yung Luke 15.10. Di ba when you share the gospel, ano, di ba yung mga angels sa langit, they're rejoicing? So baka may katabi kayo. Yan yung pinadala ni Lord sa inyo para kausapin nyo. To share the gospel. Amen? Kaya, wag tayong parang bossing pag nasa church tayo. Kailangan lahat. Gina-welcome natin. Kaya, ang ganda, no? Introduction, pag mag-speak, o, oh, sige, batiin nyo naman yung mga katabi nyo, no? Okay? What else? Sabi dito, remember the prisoners as though in prison with them. Wow, remember the prisoners. Uh, during that time kasi, uh, these Christians were persecuted. No, the time of uh, Roman under Roman Empire. No, that's why many of them were imprisoned. Kaya sabi nung writer, please pray for these prisoners as though you are in prison. Parang nakakulong din kayo. Wow, well, in, in our days, no, parang wala na na imprison kapag uh, persecuted. But many of us, many are still imprisoned in sin, right? Mer na kang kilala neighbor. Padlak ang harapang pinto, padlak ang likuran, padlak pati window. Okay? Para wag manakawan. But inside, watching pornography, premarital sex, nag-aaway yung mag-asawa, guarded yung bahay pero yung family hindi. Alright? So please, remember those who are in prison, literally, spiritually, Remember those still bandage in sin. Amen? Alam nyo ba, we are precious in the eyes of God. No, the reason why God created us is to do good, to serve Him. In Ephesians 2.10, 
For we are God's masterpiece. When we say God's masterpiece, parang, parang uh, may, may painting ka sa bahay, ano? Wow, ang ganda ng painting mo. Sino yung artist niyan? Diba? Nakahang. Pero hindi tayo ganun dinesign ng Lord eh. Sabi dito, for we are God's masterpiece. Meaning, God manufactured, we are God's manufactured product. And in other words, our conversion is not the end. It is the beginning. Then you sumunod. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things He planned for us to do. Hindi tayo masisiyanad, we have eternal life. We have to serve. We have to honor God. We have to serve. May mga gifts and talents na binigay tayo. Well, sa CCF Eastwood, ang dami natin talagang vacant position na, you know, last night, no, mag, we, 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 we were assigned here, me and my wife, ano, the prayer warriors. No? And then, yung pumunta sa akin, yung pinag-pray namin, ano, she was the one who prayed for me first. Sabi niya, uh, before you pray for me, narinig ko, you will speak tomorrow. Can I pray for you? And I was really, ano, no, surprised, no? So yung dapat kong pray. And you know, ano yung prayer niya? Nung pinag-pray namin siya, ang sabi niya, pray for me, I want to volunteer. Dahil ang talent niya sa tech, no? I don't want to mention her name, no? Baka sabi niya, tago na naman sa pangalan, magalit yung misis ko. Pero this, please pray for this uh, lady. She's part of uh, uh, the group of my, of my wife, no? Yes, sabi nga natin, uh, what else we can do, no? Since we are serving God, no? And this will be our third and last point. Pray to share what you have. But before we go on to our last point, let's hear a testimony from one of the elevate ladies who enjoy, who finds joy in sharing her gifts and talents for the Lord. Let's call here on the stage, uh, Miss Erica Tikiya. <laughs> So, uh, one of God's greatest blessings to me is the privilege of serving Him in His church. Um, being raised in a Christian family, going to services every Sunday, attending Bible study, and being involved in various ministries were all intrinsic to me. I started serving when I was around five years old, being part of our old church's kids' choir. When we moved to CCF in 2013, the desire to worship God through music was still in me. And so I joined the worship team up until 2017 when I started going to college and staying in Manila to avoid the inconven inconvenience of traveling long hours. Come 2019, I started longing to serve again because part of me felt as though I was no longer an active doer in the body of Christ. And so I prayed to God, asking him for other ways for me to be an instrument of faith. The same week when I attended our usual Elevate service, which is CCF's Youth Fellowship, I was assigned to facilitate a breakout session for one of our newcomers. I immediately said yes, but deep inside, I was anxious. I told God, Lord, all my life I've been serving you through music. I'm not really a sociable person who can potentially lead a D-group leader, and I'm not ready for this. But if this is your will, please empower me through your spirit. After praying, I surrendered all my worries to him and mustered up the courage to welcome our first timer. To tell you the truth, this became one of the moments when I realized how God can be very personal and assure us that he truly listens. Because when I asked for that girl's name, she told me it was faith. I found it funny because when I asked God to help me become an instrument of faith, he literally entrusted me with a girl named Faith. After realizing this, I was all the more encouraged to facilitate until it became a regular thing and I was eventually appointed to be her discipleship or D-group leader. A year passed and I saw how other Elevate D groups grew in number. While I mostly saw this as a good thing, part of me started questioning whether or not I was an effective D group leader because I too wanted my D group to grow. It's been a year already, yet I only had faith as my disciple. Then the pandemic struck and I was all the more, all the more discour discouraged because I knew that it would be harder to intentionally reach out 
to people online. Until one day, Faith told me that one of her friends also wanted to be a part of our D group. Once again, God found a way to assure me that he listens. Fast forward, more girls desired to know Christ and be part of a D group during the quarantine. By God's grace, I now handle nine girls here. <laughs> yeah, praise God. Um, I realized that discipling is never easy. There are still days when I'd get tired of helping these girls carry their burdens. Um, discipleship sometimes does not come whenever it's convenient for us. Sometimes God entrusts us with people when we least expect it. That's why God is continuously teaching me not to be complacent. Because the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. He never fails to remind me not to depend on myself and trust that his word is alive and able to touch people's lives. Being a D-group leader takes a lot of pruning, humility, and patience. It is a commitment to obey God and watch over his flock, which can only be done with the grace and the strength that comes from him. Right now, I can truly say that there is no better joy than witnessing these girls become more and more spirit-filled and in love with our Savior, Jesus Christ. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Erica. Buti sa mami ko nagmana ikaw, no? Hindi sa daddy mo. Okay, our last point is pray to share. In Hebrews 13, 16, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. No? What is the mo what is the main motivation here? No? When we uh, do good and share what we have. It is pleasing to God. Right? So do good, share what you have, it's pleasing to God. I, I remember no one time when we were we were new in CCF Eastwood, no. I saw this young man no, actually guard siya dito sa CCF Eastwood. Eh. I'm uh, Preparing to Kuya Randy. Na blessed talaga ako sa buhay niya. He was uh, always listening to GLC, no? And uh, uh, umaaten siya ng mga uh, umaaten siya dito ng while, while standing there, nakikinig siya ng 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 message dito sa worship. Until many, maybe many of us pray for this uh, young man, ano? Until finally. Uh, nag full time na siya sa CCF Eastwood pero dati volunteer pa lang siya eh, no? so kaya please CCF Eastwood no si Eppers no alalay lang sa pagpipray ah. sa prayer and fasting baka maubos yung guardia sa CCF <laughs> CCF magalit si Mega World no at mag full time no last last night kasama ni Randy yung mga pati yung head ng guard eh, no so wag kayong magulat pag nag volunteer na sila rito no because of your uh, intimacy with your prayer no Okay? So, uh, ano yung share what you have? Sabi ni author dito. No? And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near no malapit nang dumating ang Lord no kaya minsan sa amin sa di group namin eh pre pandemic kuya Jesse I cannot attend why umaambon eh mabagyo eh tumingin ako sa labas hindi naman bagyo maambon lang ang tingin sa ambon bagyo din natin then online online meeting no online meeting kuya Jess I cannot attend why wala akong may suot <laughs> online meeting pero <laughs> Anyway, and damn excuses, no? So please, as you see the day is drawing near, kailan pa tayo magbo-volunteer? Kailan tayo makakapag-volunteer sa heaven? Dito tayo kailangan, no? Pero kailangan lang, we have to focus. We have to day by day connected to Jesus. You know, I love, ano, sunflower, no? Hindi lang ako makabuhay sa, ba sa bahay nito. You know, sunflowers, Sunflowers are beautiful. You know the reason why they're called sunflowers? Because they're always looking for the sun. Okay? When the sun rises from the east, sunflower faces east. When the sun settles west, sunflower faces west. 
Okay? That's why they are productive because they're always looking for the sun. No? They produce more seed, growing, and fresh. As Christian, we should always looking for the sun. S-O-N. Prayer in the morning, before we go to bed. Or else, di tayo mag-grow. So if you are connected to the sun, you will bear fruit. You will bear more fruits and you will bear much fruit. And this is my last uh, passage, no? Huwag din tayong laging uh, nakaupo. Kailangan din nagsaserve tayo. Example ni Jesus Christ sa atin ito. So Matthew 20, 26, It is not this way among you, but whoever wants to become prominent among you shall be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you shall be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. All right? Our third core value in CCF is to volunteer. Okay? Pattern after how Jesus Christ has served us. So, we in turn serve one another by using our talents, gifts, treasures, resources, and everything, no? To spread the good news of our Lord Jesus and Savior. What can I specifically contribute in our family, in our church, in our community? How can I best serve God with my resources and giftedness? No? Ask the Lord for personal breakthrough in seeking God's wisdom. Let the Holy Spirit guide you where He wants you to serve. Okay? With renewed strength and zeal. Let God lead you to pray, volunteer for any of the following ministries. We have a cross, big, elevate, next gen, and GLC. Start now. No? So what is our message? Pray to serve. Pray to honor God. Pray to do good and others. Pray to share what you have. And we need to fast. We need to pray. And we need to love. God bless us. To God be the glory. Thank you. Uh